Hello, it's Kayla and I went to Priceline and I got more than an empty bag, don't worry. So I went there for the 40% off sale and I had also used my flybys points to get myself some gift cards. So just be aware that I bought lots of stuff. I'm gonna, I've kind of laid these out in order of how you apply them. So I'll kind of try and go with that rather than sticking with brand. So the first thing I got was this Australis, um, the primer, the original. And I'd only heard kind of one thing about it, so I bought it. I've tried this on once and I don't like it. I should try it again to give it a proper kind of going through, but my foundation seemed to slip off. And it's the same foundation I'm wearing today and it hasn't really come off even though I've been at work all day. So excuse the day old makeup. Um, so I'm guessing it's this, but I will give it another go. I got this foundation, which is what I'm wearing today, and it's the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation. And my colour is in um, number 54, beige. And I think it's actually a pretty good colour match to me, which is great because there was no tester for this, so I kind of winged it. Um, as I said, with the primer, the Australis primer, it did slip off the first day I wore it, so I was like, what is all this hype about? But I put it back on today and it hasn't really moved at all. I don't know if I love the finish yet. Like, I think it shows, I've got quite a lot of pores in my skin and I think it shows it up a bit. Um, but I'll try it again and hopefully it'll get a bit better, but it has lasted, you know, reasonably well. I've been wearing it for probably 10 hours already today and it hasn't come off too much and I have been blowing my nose and stuff. Um, and it's still there, so that's fantastic. I picked up a couple of concealers. One is just this Instant Age Rewind in medium. Um, I've bought this before, I'm just running low, so that's why it's still in the packet, so that's great. Definitely recommend this guy. And the next one is a Physician's Formula kind of concealer highlighter kind of thing, and I haven't used it yet, so I can't give you a review, but it, you know, look at that. Look at it. I can give you a review just on that. It's cute. So then for powder, I got this Models Prefer Mineral Powder in Soft Touch and the colour is in Soft Focus. So I've been using this as an all over kind of setting powder. I used it even under my eyes today. Um, and yeah, I think it's worked pretty well. It just adds that little bit extra luminous kind of finish to your skin. It's like the, um, the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders. And I have had this use this one in radiant bronze as well and I use that kind of as my daily bronzer and I really like it so that's why I thought I'd pick up another one. These ones are often sold out though so if you see one get your hands on it. As for cheek products I have two blushes and the first one is this Australis show me some cheek and this is really pigmented and it's quite a dark color so just be aware when you use it but I did find it lasted really really well. I put it on today really lightly um, and I think the color is really nice. So yay! And this is in the colour Ablaze. Next I got this Models Prefer um, the Mineral Blush Soft Touch range again and this one is in Winter's End. And it's quite, I don't know if it's, you can't really see, it's got this kind of nice marble effect but it's really light. I'll just, I'll just swatch it. Like it's nearly, I don't even know if you can see it, it's nearly a highlighter. Um, so it might be a good kind of topper, but I'm not a big fan. Then I got three different highlighters. So the first one is this Australis, wow there's been a lot of Australis stuff, is this Australis High Life highlighting powder. And this is the same powder that comes in the contour kit, the highlighting powder, and I really liked it, but I find I don't reach for the contouring kit enough just because, I don't know, it seems like a hassle. It's really not, so I don't know why it seems like one. But it is, so I thought if I got the individual I'd use it more and I really like it, so why not, you know? And then I got this Physicians Formula Shimmer Strips and this one is in Warm Nude. And I already had the one that's just, I don't know if it's called Cool Nude or just Nude. And I saw that Kitch Snitch had a review for these and I'd always really liked my other one and she said this one was her favourite. I didn't even know it existed, so I'm really glad I watched that and picked it up. These are the colours there. Um, and I have used this, I've used just kind of this upper quad here and it's really nice actually. It worked really well, it stayed all day and it was quite intense actually, so yeah, go this. I even used that bottom bronze portion, like just as bronzer and it was so pigmented that I had to like get my foundation brush and kind of get rid of it a bit, so just be careful if you do use it, but it's awesome. And I got this Models Prefer Radiance collection 
And I swatched it in store and I didn't like it, so then obviously I bought it. Go figure. So these are the colours there. And why I didn't like it was because it was too dark um, for, you know, a lot of skin tones. I did wear it today and actually really liked it when I've applied it. So and I, I hope you can kind of see it. It's still on there, so I'm pretty happy, but I did use kind of the lightest one there. But I might just swatch them for you because, you know, why not? They are really soft and really pigmented. So yeah, I'm not sure, I guess this is like a blush and a bronzer one, but I'm not the biggest fan. <laughs> I do actually really like that first one that I wore today. It's like, it's definitely more beigey. Eye product, I got the only two of these Bourjois Paris um, like individual pots that were available. This is the first colour I got and it's called Amour Vente 04 and they're so soft and they're really nice and pigmented. Um, so that's really, really nice. It's just kind of a natural colour. It's what I've got on my lid today, so you really can't even tell, but it's just a really good work colour. Second one, I can't open. And do you know why? Because it's completely smashed inside and I can't be bothered going back to Priceline to replace it. So, I mean, I know I could try and press it again, but to be honest, I probably won't. So I'll probably, if I really want to use it, I will just try and be really careful that it doesn't spill everywhere. But yeah, I can't show you unfortunately. I did get a little bit in my crease today, so it's kind of just a more natural crease colour. It's still that really nice texture, um, but it's smashed. And then I got this L'Oreal Colourish individual colour, and this is in Nude. And again, it's just for a kind of a work plain colour. Um, I do have another one of these that's in like a metallic gold, and I love it, so I thought this would be great to try. And you know what? I might just swatch it. So I haven't worn it before and it lasted really well and it feels so silky to touch. It's kind of got this nice like grey nudie undertone and it's really metallic but it's not glittery at all. So it's yeah, really nice. Talking about glittery, there's this um, Astralis Metallics in Pearl Jammin and it's glittery. It's metallics. And hey, why not show you? That's what it looks like in the pot and it's like a creamy kind of consistency. You see that? So it's like a gold, a glittery gold. It's really pretty. There weren't many colours available to this. There was like a more rose gold one which I really wanted to get but it was sold out unfortunately. Then I got three mascaras, well two. So I got two of these Bourjois Beautiful Volume Mascaras and I got two because I love it. It's my favourite mascara so I thought I'd stock up while they're 40% off. And then I got this ripped beautiful um, Maybelline Lash, Lash Sensational and it's what I'm wearing today. And I don't know whether I've lost eyelashes or my eyelashes just don't look very voluminous because I wore this the other day and really, really liked it. But today, it looks like I've got no eyelashes. Where did they go? But I like it, so I'm just thinking, I mean, I'd recommend it. Definitely try it. I just don't love it today, but maybe I didn't apply it very well. I got three eyeliners. So I got this that's in the pot, and I got it because I thought I'd heard really good reviews for it, and I hadn't used a gel, like a pot gel eyeliner for a while. Um, so this is in, black is black and I put it on and it wasn't black as black like why are they lying to me so I thought it looked like grey and it was a bit washy it wasn't very opaque I'll give it another go but first impression not great I really bought the Maybelline hyper sharp wing liquid liner I really like it it's what's on my eyeliner today and I've been using it every day so I thought I'd get another one while I could and the second thing I got is the Maybelline master precise I think it's the original of this so I thought I'd buy it because why not give it a go, the original. A lot of the time the originals are best, like, you know, sequels in movies. The original's always the best. And I got this eyeliner gel and it's an essence one. It's called Make Me Brow. Um, and I don't think it has a colour. Maybe like Cafe is its colour. So I don't know whether, and this was the only one, so I don't know whether it was the darkest or the lightest. But it goes in my brow, so if you've got similar brow colour, it might suit you. Um, it was quite, it's very pigmented in colour, um, doesn't really seem to add much volume. I still filled in my brows, then put this in, but it's, 
think it's held them in place. I got two kind of setting finishing spray. One is the Astralis Makeup Finishing Spritz and the other one is the Models Prefer Finale. I tried this on the day that I talked about before when my makeup all slipped off, so I don't know if I'm the biggest fan. This one's still sealed, can't give you a review. I will try it again, but mm, don't love it. And then I got nail polishes. So I got these two Essie ones. This is the one I've actually got on my nails at the moment. It is called Leggy Legend, don't know why. Um, I put it on this morning, I don't know if I love the colour. It's like a coppery shade, but I don't know why, but I thought it would have more of like... I thought it was more of a duochrome with like flash of red and yellow and stuff, but it just looks like copper on my nails, so if you like it, I mean buy it, but yeah, I had higher expectations. This is the second one, it's another Essie guy, it is called Island Hopping. I love this colour, I haven't worn it yet, but in my next video I probably will be because I really want to try it on. Then I bought this OPI one, and I wore this for a couple of days last week. And it's called Haven't the Foggiest, and it's like metallic silver. It's really cool. I really like it. Can't wait to wear it again. And then I got two of these Sally Hansen kind of gel ones that actually don't need the lamp. This guy is called Grey Fetty, and I just thought it was a nice neutral grey colour. And this is the two times top coat, and I haven't tried either of these yet. And I also got lipstick. Lots of it. So yay! So I filmed a lip swatch video of all of these guys, so I won't swatch them on my hand or anything. Just keep an eye out for the, that video. It'll either be the end of this week or next week. So keep watching. Um, hopefully you want to see that. Hopefully, sub so subscribe if you do, right? I'll only quickly run through these guys just to show you. I got the Essence um, Long Lasting Lipstick in Cool Nude. Rimmel London in 077 Asia. The Rimmel London Kate Lipstick in 45 and these are last lasting formulas they call them got two of the Maybelline matte formulas one's in daringly nude and one's in a touch of spice two of the Rimmel the one one's in 200 it's a keeper and the other one is 600 peachy beachy and there are two of the L'Oreal lipsticks one's just from L'Oreal Paris what the other one is color riche in the color 233 it doesn't seem to have a name don't love it don't recommend it but watch more of my lip swatch video for more about that and the other guy is in Cherry Crush and this is part of the L'Oreal Paris kind of range and it's actually what I've got on my lips at the moment if you were wondering. That's everything I got! So as you can see I bought a whole heap, I'm sorry, to bank account, not to you, you got to see it all, so <laughs> I'm sorry to my finances, that's all. Um, so I hope you liked some of what you saw, if there's anything particular you want to see a full in-depth review of or want to see a look with, please let me know and comment below. If you like this video, give it a like because you said you liked it and you're not a liar. So subscribe if you want to see more of me. Do you? Do you? And thank you so much for watching. Bye!